So for the second week of Ramadan, I spent most of my time here at Carlton, unfortunately. Uh, this is what happens when I take summer school classes and I leave everything to the last minute. I spent most of my week here actually because I was just cramming and trying to get everything done. And for the most part, I was in the office for the class that I was taking in previous year. Um, luckily, I kind of had it to myself with most people being away for the summer or having jobs. And I was just binge watching lectures the entire time. And like an hour before it was time to have dinner, basically I had to pack up all my stuff. Um, luckily, there's a fridge in there because that's where, where I was able to keep all the treats for the bake sale. I was able to bring it down to the cafe where we we're having dinner. Most people were pretty helpful whether they were uh, dropping off donated food or they were helping clean out the cafe before dinner. <laughs> and for some people it didn't matter what uh, you told them, they could find anything uh, in the area to help them uh, entertain themselves. And like I said, for the most part, people were contributing any way they could to help make the dinner successful, whether it be packing up food or they were rolling out the prayer mats, any task that needed to be done, we were able to find volunteers within the community. And keep in mind that even though sunset was reached and we're able to break our fast, we can't forget the purpose as to why we abstained from food and water for 17 hours uh, during the day, or depending on which time zone you're in. Prayer is a form of worship and is a, considered the second foundation in Islam and everyone that comes to their thoughts at Roosters knows that. And after prayer, all the volunteers were able to distribute food for the fasting students and it didn't really matter who attended. There's no ID check at the front entrance or pop quiz on Islam. The MSA opens its doors for everyone and we were able to turn a small cafe on campus that's usually empty after 8pm into a vibrant gathering. And for the entire week, we would come together to have like a reflection and a breakdown on how the day went but on Wednesday it was a little bit different and just like how uh, all of you are here there was one more person Ahlam she she was there in the MSA last year she helped a lot uh, and then she went to Denmark for her PhD and uh, like what we say our, our hashtag is called family and faith and we're all a family and uh, just like that, when you went there, we didn't forget about you. When you were struggling, we were thinking and caring. So what all of us decided to do was to have a gift sent to you in Denmark so you receive it there. So something from your family and faith. But that didn't happen, so... <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of everyone, this is a small gift. Not this. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and we decided to get Ahlam two types of gifts. We know she's a coffee lover, so the first one was a novelty coffee item. And the second package had... Wow! <laughs> And the second package had some headphones that we knew she uh, broke recently and all the different types of chocolates. So there's more people here, but they couldn't couldn't make it today. So Hazla, Amira, and there's more in the group. Yeah. We'll add you there. And yeah. it was Amira's idea to take a group picture because you're making a diary, right? So yeah. to add it in your diary. Oh my God. 